Nice strong front position. Show respect. Step it out. Keep those knees bent and breathe. Two more breaths in through your nose and out. And into your nose, big, 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 big. And out. And come on up. All right, like I said, we're gonna start a nice basic warm up today. Um, if you guys have questions, uh, unmute yourself or, or type it in. You guys know that by now. Okay, so let's start. Four stance. Right from here, basic strikes to start. Front to knuckle punch with the right hand first. I'm going to mirror you guys. We're going to alternate. Throw your power, throw your breath in some key eyes today. Let it out. Okay, we'll do our basic uh, uh, strikes, blocks, and kicks today. And back to your ribs. Front to knuckle punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And tell me, you guys, um, I want to keep your heart rate going, but tell me if I'm counting too fast for it to be at pace with uh, over Zoom because I'm counting a little bit faster today. So if it, if it ends up being too fast, please, please, please tell me. We're going to hands back to your ribs. Uh, vertical thrusting punch right into the solar plexus, so a little further down. Uh, shoulder to wrist, make sure that's the knuckles that are going to hit. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Hands back. Okay, back to knuckle punch. Nice and long, nice and tight, right into the ribs. Okay, keep this going. Ready? Right hand first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, shake it out. Going up to our hammer strikes. Okay, hammer strike up to the nose. Full range of motion, let that elbow lead. Okay, here we go, hammer strikes to the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Good. Hands back. Let's go open hands now. Shoot a chop. Same motion. Right. A little bit of a diagonal angle down with that chop. Right. So that you're going right into the side of the neck here. Not on the collarbone. Not straight down. But you also don't want to completely slice my neck off. Okay. A little bit of a diagonal angle to that hand. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, hands back. Try to count, breathe, move. Hands back to your ribs. Palm strike. Let that rotation happen as that goes out. Fingers in, tough, thumb is tucked. Palm strike right up to the chin. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, shake it out. Okay, quick round of exercises in between our basics. Okay, so we're gonna just, I'm gonna call it the same like four or five exercises. We're gonna do 10 of each one, right? You guys have done this kind of class with me in person. 
All right, we're just gonna mix it up. All right, we're gonna start with 10, and we're just gonna do some jumping jacks. Standard basic exercises with our basic warm ups today. All right, 10 jumping jacks, go. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go straight down. Well, actually, we'll stay standing first. Uh, we'll go straight down into our squats, okay? Just 10, as long as you can. Sit down, go. Two, three, four, Good. Now let's make our way down to our floor. Let's do our push-ups. Any kind that you want, anything that you need for your arms and chest, 10 push-ups on your own. Count it out. Three. Good. Then on your back. Okay. Let's get our leg lifts in today. All right. Core, ready, up, 10 on your own. Keep those legs straight. You can go side to side if you want, up to you. Good, right from where you are, roll over. High plank, okay, short, 30 seconds, that's it. All right, everyone into your plank position. Hands underneath, feet up. Let's start it, you got 30 seconds, that's it. So not that long today. We are going to do a couple of these, so it'll be a combination of a long time, but it's not going to be one long hole, only 30 seconds. Okay, breathe. Knees down at the floor. You're already halfway there, so easy today. You can breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. You only have five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower. Okay, come back up to your feet, shake it out. Okay, that's one round. Okay, let's go into our basic blocks. All right, four stance, please. Here we go. Eight point blocking set first. No counter strikes yet, we will allow those. Okay, hands back to your hands. Eight point blocking set. Right hand starts, one, breathe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, hands back to your ribs. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Listen for the changes as we keep going. Uh, you guys have done this a lot, all right? So if it's something you do need to work on, and by me saying this, maybe you know what's coming, um, practice this at home, okay? Have uh, someone in your house call out different blocks. Hands back to your ribs, ready? Eight point blocking set. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, hands back. Good. My brain, my mind is going to be confused because I'm going all over the place out here right you guys. Hands back to your ribs. Let's do it again. Different, different order this time. Here we go. One, three, five, seven, two, four, six. Eight. Hang on, back to your ribs. Good, different ways. Here we go. One, two, five, six, three, four, seven, eight. And back to your ribs. Again, different order. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. Five, six. Good, hands back to your ribs. Different order. Three, four, one, two, five, six, seven, eight. And back. Different order. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Hands back. All right, let's see how your brain's doing. Hopefully, uh, I'm not messing you up too fast. I'm also showing it to you guys. So hopefully, you're, uh, you're going home. You can uh, cheat up on me a little bit. And I am mirroring you guys. So I'm still using what your right side is first. 
hands back to your ribs. Okay, let's start it again with number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, hands back. Good, now with the counter strikes. Okay, nice and slow for the first one. One, outward block, front two off the bunch. Let your hip go with the strike. Two, outward block, front two off the bunch. Right into the face. Three, hammer strike through the temple. Four, inward hammer, hammer strike through the temple. Five, upward block, circle, hammer fist to the ribs. Six, double factory on the outside of my arm, upward block, circle, hammer fist to the ribs. Downward block, number seven, chicken wrist. So I'm tight, loose, and then tight, chicken wrist right up to the chin. Draw the arm forward, turn it upside down, pull your thumb in. Number eight, downward block, chicken wrist right up to the chin. Okay, so I'll pull that out a little bit faster. Here we go. Eight point blocking with the counter strikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Okay, guys. Out. So, if you guys know the blocks, right? I'm giving you the textbook uh, counter strike to follow it up with. If you were to end up doing a different kind of counter strike, we've also done those classes where I'm like, hey, get creative, do whatever you want. All right, a couple more times with the counter strike, similar to what we did. Uh, with the first round, eight point blocking, but uh, with counter strikes the whole time. So if you make a mistake, make it strong, and then uh, if you'll catch back up, hands back to your ribs. The whole time now, eight point with the counter strikes. Ready? One, three, five, seven. So you might have noticed from my counter strike into my next block, I gotta go right from point of origin. Right, and that's what Star Blocking Set teaches us. So we're gonna go into that in a minute. Right, we're gonna keep going with this set though. Here we go. We have two, we have four, six, and eight. Good, hands back. Not so easy, right? Hands back to your ribs, because now you're throwing. You've done it a lot, and you're like, oh, which hand am I going with now? Okay, so here we go. We have one, two, we have five. Six, three, four, seven, eight. Right now, you're not sure what's coming next. So hold it for that brief second. And then, like I said before, go right from point of origin, whatever block is coming. Bang, back to your ribs. Right? Don't expect the next block, right? Just hear it and see it. Sorry, I'm just getting on it quick. Cool, okay. Uh, let's keep moving. Uh, here we go, couple more rounds. Same thing, ready? One, two, three, four, seven, eight. Good, so now you're just hearing what's next. You guys can almost close your eyes at this point and just try to listen to, to what I'm saying. All right, here we go. We're gonna start out with one this side. We're gonna start with three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Good. So you just keep going over and over and over again. All right, hands back to your one more time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Check it out. All right, like I said to you guys, basic warm up, but I'm having you guys move a lot today. Check out your arms. All right, hands back to your ribs. All right. Let's go into star blocking. We're not going to do this one too many different ways today, but I do just want to hit it. Point of origin, let your body slow. Hands back to your ribs. I'll call it out one or twice, one or, one or twice, one or two times, and uh, we'll go through this a few times. Hands back to your ribs. Right hand starts. 
start blocking set. Right foot point of origin, stay tight, stay within your frame. Right hand, upper, inward, outward, downward. Check, press and palm. Good, now, always remember to leave that press and palm out until that next one comes up, right? So, left hand now, upper, inward, outward, downward. Check, and make sure, I'm gonna point this out now. Check, from, from your downward, don't pull it in here, right? You didn't cross your center line like you do on all of our blocks, so check is still a block. Bring back through your center line with that inward forearm, then circle and pull it back through your check and our pressing palm, okay? This one will pull back, and we'll go into our double uppers. Inward, rotate in. And when I do that, and notice, no, I don't think you'll see that. Space between my hands. I'm not locked in. I'm not absolutely locked in. I'm a little bit of a space. Okay. Outwards, go. Downward, cross. Back, cross with center, check. And pressing palm. And I like to do my right hand on top of my left. I have seen left on top. That is also okay. Hands back to your ribs. Let's do it again. At that same pace, ready, start locking, set right hand. Upward, inward, outward, downward, check, palm. Upward, inward, outward, downward, check, palm. Upward, in, out, down, check, and palm. Good, hands back. All right, right side, right hand. All by yourself, I'm not gonna call it out. So the right hand at your pace, right? And then leave it at that pressing palm, I'll call out the left side. Okay, so right hand first, go. Left, go. Doubles. Good. One time, star blocking set all on your own. Hands back to your legs, keep those knees bent, work those leg muscles while you're doing it. All right, sit down into that. One time, start blocking set all the way through. Go. Good, shake it out. Now that you guys know that and you're uh, comfortable with it again, um, you can still post your video online if you have not on Sensei Donnie's short one 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 plus start blocking set challenge. Because uh, get prepared, there's going to be a new challenge. Okay, so hopefully as many of you guys can participate in those as possible. Keep posting your videos. We love seeing them. Uh, we love just watching everybody. It's so, so cool to see a community come together that way. All right, let's go to our second round of exercises. Same exercises, okay? Let's get our bodies, our bodies moving again. Ten jumping jacks, go. Good, right into your spots, go. When you're done with squats, 10 push-ups. If you want to change up the type of push-up or type of core, you can, right? And after this, we'll have one more round of exercises. The 10 push-ups, go. When you're done, on your back. If you want to do leg lifts again, cool. You want to do crunches, you want to do sit-ups, pick your core. Ten of them, go. Good. Roll over. Second plank. 30 seconds. Head down. Feet up. Ready? And go. 30 seconds. Again, not so long today. Right? We'll do a total of a minute and a half plank today, broken up into three sections of 30 seconds. So that is not bad. Okay, roll over, roll on the balls of your feet a little bit. So your shoulders come over your wrists. Again, you're already halfway there, so not bad. Let's just breathe. Pull your belly button into your spine. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Good, okay, shake it out. Here we go. I told you basic strikes, blocks, and kicks. Everyone, please jump into your left neutral bow. Okay, going to our kick section. 
All right, we're gonna start nice standard front ball kicks. Okay, you guys are warm, but maybe you're not completely stretched out. So I don't necessarily care about the height of the kick. I would like everyone to try to get them all the kicks up to at least belt level, okay, if not higher, but don't sacrifice the technique behind the kick, whether it's your flamingo, the part of your foot that you're using, your breath, don't sacrifice that just because you want to kick someone in the face, okay? So let's start with our left neutral bow, my guard is up, let your hands work in harmony, right? Let your hips rotate when they need to. We're gonna go, like I said, pretty classical today. All right, so we're gonna use that back leg, that, um, that right leg for my front ball kick first. Here we go, count it out. One, and back, settle each time. Try not to, in any of our kicks, telegraph with the turn first before the foot comes up, right? So if you need to slow down a little bit, absolutely fine. But let this all start to happen at the same time, okay? Here we go. Two, pop, and back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Boom. Jump switch. Left leg. Here we go. Back leg again. Keep those guards up. Hold, hit, thrust it out. Here we go. One, and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Jump switch again. Told you guys, we're moving. All right, we're going to go to roundhouse kicks next. All right? I'm kind of, kind of go in what my opinion is level of difficulty a little bit. I'm going to leave the side kick the last because, again, I think that's the hardest one. We are going to do our pivoting side kicks today, so our rear leg. Now, if you're on grass or concrete or something where it's super, super difficult to pivot right now, you can absolutely use your lead leg if that's easier. The other option for you, if I'm in my roundhouse kick position, I want to neutral it up. I can turn the front foot first. Right, so that it turns my hips forward so that I can kick, and then when I come back, I can go back down. If a regular roundhouse kicks are fine and you can get that full rotation, do it. The other thing I want you to think about with your roundhouse kicks, so easy to turn in this technique, right? Kick the person in front of you here. This is my center line, that's where my kick is, not over here. Sometimes we over rotate that foot and I end up doing the kick all the way over there. Or it's not to my angle. Opponent's right in front of me, right? So as I turn that foot, I kick, and then I come back down. Try to work your balance, try to work that rotation. Any variation you need, like I said, lead leg for uh, environment, wherever you are, totally fine. Okay, well, we're gonna start with that left leg. In front, left neutral bow. All right, so right leg is gonna kick first. Here we go. One, and that. Might not be as high as your front kick, totally fine. Completely different part of your body is kicking. Right? Different hips. Two. And back. Control it. Let your hand move. Three. And back. Four. And back. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And back. Jump switch. Here we go. Left leg. All right, so maybe this one will be easier, maybe it'll be harder, totally up to you. Okay, work both sides. I know I'm a right leg, right hand person. So a lot of times my left leg is stronger because I'm able to balance more on that right leg. All right, so sometimes it may be like, why is that left leg stronger? Because you actually have more control and more body weight to hold yourself up on that right leg. Just a, some food for thought. Okay, right neutral well, left leg is gonna kick, guards up. Ready, here we go. One. And back. Two. And back. Kick in front of you. Three. See that bag? Kick your partner over. Four. And back. We'll get all the way through. Five. Back. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And go. Good. Shake it out. Two more rounds. Here we go to our back kick. 
I'm gonna give you guys two options. I'm gonna do shuffle on back end. So I'm gonna go here, I'll face you guys, right? I'm gonna put my, looks like what I want you guys to do first. Uh, so turn the left neutral bow so you can shuffle into the uh, right leg like back kick actually. So I'm gonna take that guy behind and shuffle in, back kick, and land. If you wanna start in your left neutral bow and practice your spinning back kick, you can do that as well. It's totally up to you, but I want you to kick with that right leg first. All right? Um, shuffle into it or spin, those are just about ranges. All right, if you're doing your spin, reminder, don't overturn, it turns into a side kick. You're just doing a shuffle up. You're already positioned perfectly, right? Tell me my reach above, my hips are forward. And I'm gonna kick behind and look over my shoulder, but I'm not gonna look over my shoulder. I'm gonna look down over my shoulder. Pop, kick, back, down. Right, it's a shuffle, kick, shuffle, back. Okay, so right leg's gonna kick. Let's try it from there, right? No more thoughts. All right, ready, left neutral bow. Ready, back in, one, and back. Heel of your foot, point your toes down, and try to bring your kick up. Don't think kicking the person in the knee, you'll kick them in the shin. Think at least solar plexus so that it gets up to their ribs, or to their belt. Here we go, two, and back. Get your eye gaze forward then, then when it's time to kick again, you'll walk back around. Three, and back, let your hands go. Four, and back. Five, get your balance. Should really root from your spot, right? So if I were to uh, put two like, X's down the floor where your feet are right now, you do your kick, and when you reset, you should be right back to where you started on that on those X's. All right, here we go. I think I lost count, but uh, we're gonna start number five. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. And back, good. Oh, Jerry told me I totally forgot two. Sing that left neutral bow. We got two more. I don't want to make you guys uh, imbalanced. Smart, you're like, oh, I feel, why is this so off? I do two less kicks. All right, so two more with that right leg. Here we go. One, two, and two. Good, jump switch. All right. Here we go, last set of back kicks. Shuffle, I'm gonna again do my shuffle. You can do any kind of variation you want. Be specific with the part of your foot. Left leg is gonna kick now. Shuffle, I'm gonna shuffle into it. Here we go, one, and back. Two, and back. Three, still use that small flamingo that you have, right? It doesn't need to come all the way up to go back, but it still, it still has to come up. Four, and back, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, let's jump switch. Okay, back to your left neutral bow. I'm gonna, we're gonna go to our side kicks. Awesome. Um, give you two options again. You wanna do your pivot, cool. Depending on where you're training, it might be hard to pivot. Turn in the side kick. You can, and I'm gonna do this version. I'm gonna just do my standing, snapping side kick. Right, doesn't need a lot of rotation. Right, my guard is up, snap it out, and right back. Flamingo still comes up between myself and the opponent, but right now between me and you guys. Okay, that you know, I'm laying the foot or heel, right, pop, still comes up, and then I go back down. Okay, I'm not gonna work the full rotation turning right now. Uh, you guys can, uh, and, and you want to find the fucking, you can do that as well. Okay, so you got your left neutral bow using your lead leg. This is gonna go knee or ribs, totally up to you. Here we go. One, and down, find that neutral bow. Two, good. The other thing I want you guys to think about when you're doing lead leg kicks, okay? Watch me, don't do this, okay? What happened, what happens is a lot of you guys are using your lead leg, you're bringing that up and you start leaning back. Right, first of all, you lose your balance. The other thing is, you're too far away from your opponent then, right? So when I do my lead leg kicks, instead of leaning back into it, drop, right? From here, you'll notice I don't need a lot of this when I bring that up. When I, if I don't bend that leg, I have to lean back, right? Because I'm catching myself. And where my center of gravity is a little bit different. From here, if I just drop, pop, you're gonna notice it maybe shifted backwards like, 
minimally, right? Because I don't want to have to get away from it. Hot point. Even if I'm going up to the ridge a little bit higher, it'll move my body a little, a little bit, but it's not going to be as far, right? You'll see my center line is all on, right? But from here, I drop, pop, and then that comes right back up, okay? So let's keep going, all right? Left leg, guard is up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, jump switch. Other side, last set. Last set of best, big six, last set of kicks. Here we go, right leg. Side leg kick. One, two, snap it out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, shake out your legs. Okay, you guys, you know what we're doing. We got one more round of exercises, then we're moving on. 10 jumping jacks, go. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Four at your own pace, squats, go. One, breathe. Good, into your push ups, any kind you want. 10 of them, go. Onto your back. When you're done with your push ups, crunches, leg lifts, leg up a wall, whatever you want, any kind of variation I've given you. 10, go. All right, here we go. Finish up those crunches. Where we are, we got our last plank, you guys. Okay, we got a 30 second plank. Here we go. Let's set yourself up. Got my timer here so I can do it with you guys. Hands, feet. You, know, you guys got three more seconds to set yourself, prepare yourself mentally. All right, push up by plank. Go. Just find it now. Try not to make too many adjustments. Squeeze your glutes, rotate onto the balls of your feet, shoulders over your wrists, gaze on the floor, and breathe. Belly button to the spine, squeeze it in. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Very nice, shake it out. Okay, I pretty much had job sweat. I <laughs> hope you guys knew that whole time. All right, are we, hey Adam, uh, are we, well, a couple more of you guys hopped in. Um, how are we feeling, good? Great. Cool, Great. I can't see some of you guys, which is fine. Hi Huck, hi Lioness. Uh, maybe some of you guys uh, are uh, in your pajamas. That's okay, it's a good place to be, all right. Uh, hopefully we're warm. I want to move on though. Cool. Um, what I want to talk about in today's uh, technique form sparring portion is actually a little bit more sparring today. Um, I've been doing that a little bit more on Fridays and I've been thinking about that, that I want to go back because you guys are hopefully your heart beat, heart's beating and uh, you're sweating a little bit. So I'll talk for a few seconds. Um, our yellow belt and orange belt sparring techniques are not something that our school necessarily is like, you guys have to know this particular step uh, for a test, right? Because we like to see how everyone moves. But the motion that it teaches us, right, I think are really good. And a lot of you guys, if you've been around for a while, have heard about these, the B1As, the B1Bs, okay? I want to talk through those a little bit today. And I'm going to have you guys obviously move through them as well. Um, I know there's no opponent in front of you, but what this is going to do is it's going to allow your body to turn and it's going to just give you some ideas, right? The reason I'm also doing these today is, again, these are basics, right? These are basic sparring techniques. When you are brand new to sparring and you come to class, um, one of two things happens, right? You either don't throw any strikes because you're like, I don't know what to do and you kind of just move or the opposite happens and you just start throwing right 
So we're, we're, we're brand new and we're not sure. So these techniques give us tools and ways to think about it. Now, I don't know if I have any white belts or even yellow belts in the room today, which is absolutely okay, right? But again, these work footwork, right? In the point where you guys could then take other pieces of sparring, counters, and follow-ups that you already know. So what I'd like everyone to do is, and I'm not gonna mirror you really so that my brain doesn't get super confused, okay? Yeah. Uh, everyone's gonna start in your left neutral bone. Miss Carrie, I'm actually gonna borrow you just for one quick second, okay? Um, she's gonna hop into her left neutral bone, I'm in my left neutral bone. Just reminders, right? Because this is where this stuff starts. All right, we're both in the left neutral bone. This is a closed fiber stance. Right, my center line is away, her center line is away from each other. Right, if I were to jump switch and I were my right, she's gonna left, this is open, we both our center lines are facing each other. Right, a lot of times I can do the same techniques, I might just have to change the target. Right, if I were in this position and I wanted to get the carry a roundhouse kick, I could go right into her center line. If I were in this position, I could still get the carry a roundhouse kick. I might go to her leg, I might go to her kidney, I might go onto her head. Okay, so that just depends on where you are. You can do those same bases, right? So something to just keep in mind, right? Today we're going to be in the imaginary thought of working from that close fight in the stance. Yeah, thank you. I'm not sure that was great. Okay, so I'm going to have a lot of terminology. I'm glad this is recording uh, so that you guys can go back and watch it if you need. Right, but my guard is going to stay up, right? We're going to work B1A first and B1B, right? So you guys are confused with what that is. B, at the beginning of that, uh, is your base technique, which is your grab, right? One, the number, is your foot maneuver, and then A or B is your target, okay? So when we start, we're gonna start B1A. So what that is gonna be is, I'm in left neutral bow, and I'm in range, contact range with my partner. I'm gonna pull their hand, right? And I'm gonna pull it down, Right, manipulating their body, and I'm going to go forward bow punch right up to their head. Right, I, I like to think tempo. If you go master the process, that's fine. Right, but from my arm guard position, I'm going to pull and I'm going to punch. Okay, that's what's going to be into this position here. You're noticing that this hand pulled down almost to my head because what I'm thinking about is manipulating where their body is. We're going to try that five times. Okay, so just like that, the reason I want to be doing this in repetition a little bit is again now we're just working full and bow punch. Right, right, but with a little bit of manipulation. All right, so keep your guard up, like you're gonna show that graph. Here we go. Ready, one, and reset. Reset on your arm. Two, and back. Three, four, and five. Good, okay. Now, going into B1B, B is the same, one is the same, B is the different target, the second B, lowercase b. Okay, this time, my, I'm in my same position, I'm gonna grab the hand, Right, I'm going to pull it across this time, so I'm going to open up the lower body. I'm going to come into here. Right, I like to think back to a punch. If you want to think a little bit of a vertical punch, you guys, that fits in as well. Right, when I come in, it's this position. Whether it's here, here, as long as you're fitting that into the ribs, absolutely fine. So we're going to practice a few of those. Same beginning move. Still going to hit my forward bow. Pop. So I've got to turn my hips and give it some power. But instead of pulling down, I'm going to fall a little bit more across and hit and open them up. Okay, so B, one, B. Here we go. One, and back. Two, three, four, and five. Good, jump switch. Okay, so quickly on the other side. We're gonna get through a whole lot of sets of these. I have about 15 minutes to keep you guys moving. All right, guards can stay out. We're gonna go B, one, A. You guys know what that is now. Grab it high, right at your target. Forward bow. That's number one is forward bow. In range. Ready? One, reset. Breathe. Two, three. Pull that down. Four, and five. Good. Now across. B one B. Low. Pull it across. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Jump switch. So practice, obviously, like we do with our techniques, and I've been doing with you guys a lot this week, right? Practice your left and right sides, right? When you're sparring or jump switching, forward switching, reverse switching, moving, stepping through all that kind of stuff, important to be able to know how to do your techniques on both sides. Let's keep going. And if I'm talking fast, it's because I'm trying to just get out a lot of information today. Okay? So guard is up, back to our, our, our left neutral bone. 
uh, we're going to go into B2, A, and B. Okay, B is the same, that's your base. So it's changing right now. All that's changing is going to be your foot maneuver. A is still going to be high, B, lowercase, is still going to be low. Okay, so what I want you guys to think of now is that when I grab, I'm adding, depending on how much range, it can either be a little step drag, I like to think of it more as a push drag though, right? Push drag, as I grab, pop, pop, and then I still need to go. So we worked these techniques before, we're doing your techniques, well, one, two, those of you guys who have flashing wings, right? Pop, boom, it works, right? Now we're in a little bit of sparring. Now, if in sparring class, you guys are wearing gloves, it makes sense, how do I do that? I have gloves on, I can't grab their hand. Fine, use it to manipulate, push their arm away, give them a fake, right? Pop, boom. If you start to put your hand this way, they're gonna go to block it, opening up a different target a little bit today. Okay, so the finger was you can do a little bit of a monkey ball without fully grabbing, right? That'll just manipulate them away. Okay, so B2, tiny, the foot maneuver with the grab, and then going right into that forward bow punch up to the face. So here we go, B2, and one, pop, and then reset. You're gonna to have to step back to reset yourself. Two, three, four, five. Good. You're gonna hear it. I'm stomping a little bit just to accent. Okay, let's go into B2B. Same foot maneuver, same base, different target. Here we go. All right. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, jump switch. You got to the other side. Okay, here we go. Right, grab again. Down. Here's your high punch for B2A. Here we go. Uh, push drag. At the same time you're grabbing, and then you'll rotate through the punch. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five. Good. Now pull it across. B two B. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good. Jump switch. Shake it out. And please, please, please stop me if you have questions. Okay. Let's go on to three. So again, I'm gonna just change. The foot maneuver right now, we will talk about uh, prefixing and suffixing in a moment. Okay, we're gonna change the foot maneuver now. It's all about range. Now I'm out of it, right? Push drag, I'm just out. Maybe I'm in kicking range, and that's what we're gonna talk about in a minute. But, but I'm out of hand range, so I'm just a little push drag. Now I'm also out of kicking range, and I've got to do a crossover, right? So when I cross, right, I'm going to cross and grab. Then I'm going to step as I'm pulling, and then I go up into my high. Okay, so this is again B3A. So when I, again, I cross and I grab, right? About here, but now I go for all this distance. When my hands are still up on the So I cross and grab, I step as I'm pulling, and I'm going immediately into that forward bone. You can see how I'm exaggerating this arm right now. Hopefully, no one's arm is that long. Maybe mine. I don't know, right? But this comes up and grab. As I pull, pop, I land when that punch comes in. Okay? Just like we talked about in our techniques, feel where your body is landing through these cross steps, through these strikes. Okay? Guard is up, B3, A. Take it slowly. I'm going to count this one a little slower. Here we go. One, boom. I'll speed them up as we go. Two, three, Four, five. You're gonna see that you're gonna to start to flow right through that, okay? Because you have the foot maneuver and the B, the base, right? I'm gonna speed up the B to B, uh, sorry, B three B just a little bit. Same thing. I'm just going along the target again, going across. Here we go. Ready? One. Let's speed that up or do it at your pace. Two. Three. Four and five. Good. Okay. Other side. Come on down. All right. Other side. Again, reminder. Grab and cross. Step and hit. It might feel more awkward on one side than the other. Guys, again, good on both sides. Those of you, uh, Adam, I saw Mel, 
Kelly on there, right? Long form threes and above. You got to be taking several sides of the points. And it up. Here we go. One. Good. Again, slowing it down. Just for a moment. Two. Good. Three steps. Keep it up. Three. Four. Five. Good. Now, B3, B. Ready? One. Pull across. Two. Three. Four. And five. Good. Shake it out. Okay. We're going to do one more. I'm going to talk about the final ITF for today. All right. So, hop back into your left neutral belt. Before A and B, all right, is a crossover just like we did, but with a step through. Okay. So, now this is the one that really starts to introduce even more foot maneuvers, more range. All right. So, now as I go, that's my grab now. So I cross and I'm checking the arm. Here's the pull. Here's the strike. Okay, so you're gonna do a crossover, step through. So pop, boom, pop, and we'll reset. Okay, we're only gonna do five of these. So I want you guys to change it up the A and the B. So if the first one you did E4, A, do the next one as. E for B, we're going to pull it differently. So we're going to do five with the left neutral bell, five with the right neutral bell. Okay, left neutral bell first. Here we go. One. Then reset, closing a lot more range now. Two. Three. Three. Four. And five. Good, jump switch, right into a bump. Last set, here we go. Start is up, one more reminder, right? As I cross, when I step out this time, that's where the grab is, so it's even further out of range. Then I step through and I go right through them. Now, when you're thinking of that step, you know, all right, I can, and I'm, I'm uh, just a drill for you, all right? I can, when I do my step through, you guys, I can go from here, I can set the foot and hit her, right? If I want to find a different target, I can go step through behind and hit her this way. And just shake my left one. I can still do that too, right? So it's just where my partner is. You might have to make that decision split second because they're moving, right? These are just static drills right now. But if you're sparring and moving with someone, it might be a little bit harder, right? So that's why we drill and drill and drill. So the uh, reaction just comes out of your body. Okay, right neutral bell, last set. E4, A, and B, we're going to do five again. Mix up the A and B for yourself. Here we go. One. Reset. Two. Three. Speed it up a little bit, up to you. Four. And five. Stop. Good, shake it out. Okay, very good. All right, so the last thing I do want to talk about with all this, right, because there are technically uh, sparring techniques for almost every rank now. I haven't gone through the much higher, the much, much higher ranks than this, because like I said at the beginning, that's something that we absolutely focus on. We are a continuous fighting sparring school. That's what we do, that's what you guys know, right? These are great also just drills, uh, point scoring, that kind of stuff, but they give you great motions. The reason I want to do these today is because of all these foot maneuvers, your forward bones, your push drags, your cross steps. We just worked all that stuff within our sparring techniques. So the last piece of this is where I said before, prefixing and suffixing, right? If you guys know in English language, right? Prefix, go before, suffix, go after. So we can start adding, right? If you wanted to write things out for yourself, there's combos like RK, which would be a roundhouse kick, or like an H, which would be like a heel palm. So if I were to like make a sentence out of all this stuff, it could really be like an R-K-B-1-A-H, which would just be this. It would be a roundhouse kick, B-1-A-H, right? So then you start getting techniques and combos 
right off of what you guys already know. If I were to call that out, which we're not going to go through a ton of these, I'm just giving you guys ideas, but that would just be a pop, 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 right? It works. As long as, again, you're working like roundhouse, arrange, hold, hit them with your forward bow, check that arm down, like we know in our other concepts, palm strike comes back up, right? So you can really add or add on the other end other kicks, other strikes, depending on how close you are to the opponent, right? And that's what that's for. You can prefix and suffix within your techniques. When right? we start adding extensions or um, we start adding pieces at the beginning that aren't textbook, but that it's the way we do it at our school, do it, you guys, explore that. The other piece of, of this is the extraction, right? You can always take out a middle strike or a middle motion in the middle of the technique, right, to put something else in there, to insert an insertion principle, right, so that you have your base, something slightly different in the middle, and you go back to it, right? That's what makes this stuff fun, right? After you learn your basics, right, basic punches, blocks, kicks, techniques, forms, all that kind of stuff, right, you're able to just scribble, right, and put this stuff together. That's why you guys, you go back, right, uh, to extensions, Adam's learned, right, all the way through orange, purple, purple belt extensions, right? It's just giving you guys more motion. This way, when I put you in another dragon circle, when you guys come back to the dojo, our brains don't freeze, even though I know they will sometimes, that's fine, right? Hard drill. But you're able to just make it up and just see where your bodies are going, okay? Um, do I have, I am like almost right on the money here. Um, do I have any questions on these particular sparring techniques on the language that I use on uh, anything like that. My goal again was to keep you guys moving a lot. Hopefully that happened, but uh, are there questions? Yes. Mel, go ahead. I was gonna ask, is there uh, like anywhere to like see the, the alphabet, the language, so you could kind of like teach yourself what all the letters mean and- They are, <laughs> no, it's, it's a good question. Um, I'll look at that for you because even, I don't even think in like Mr. Tatum's book that I have here, he really fully wrote those out. Some schools don't teach them at all, but I'll do some research for you guys on where that is actually written out um, and to see if it is a, a full system like that. Um, I know I've seen some uh, hints and clues. I took, the, I, these are straight from my notes that I've taken some seminars over the years. Um, yes, Adam, these are from the American Kempo system. So this is straight up American Kempo. Uh, the, those ones that we did today, I think, were the orange and or the yellow belt and orange belt techniques for tests. So, um, but Mel, I will look up more where the, where there's written out. So, for you. Um, okay, from my from my. Wait, what's that? From, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. From my understanding, it is like the B is like a block, and then the one one attack, and A is above and B is below. Exactly. Yeah, so your B, I like that as your block. The number is your foot maneuver, and then the A is the high target, and the B is the low target. Obviously, those targets can change uh, where you are, but uh, that just gives you an idea uh, of motion that you guys can hit. Yeah, Linus, that's a good way to think about it. Also, um, for the well, the third one, when we do the crossover, do we also do the, um, what is it called? Forward bow with the punch? Yeah, so still turn in. Now, depending on where you end up, a lot of times if I were doing three, right? Pop, boom, hit, that would require the forward bow. Then be four, right? When I'm at here, I'm going through my forward bow to the step through. So I'm transitioning through the forward bow because my hip has to turn, my foot has to turn to actually step. So I'm not going to sit in the last one. I'm not going to settle in the forward bow. I'm going to use it as a transition. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like a lot of that stuff was in the early days when there was just a uh, sparring class on Thursdays that I avoided when I was an orange belt. Now I'm like, yep, all that terminology is like, whoop. <laughs> right. And that's why I wanted to bring it back. It's definitely been a while. Um, but it is good stuff to just think about. You guys can like abbreviate all the strikes in your own way and then just start making up your own, own sparring techniques. And don't tell anybody what they are. Come try them in class. <laughs> in my head from when Professor Glenn used to like teach exactly. it Exactly. He, uh, he is, Professor Glenn's one of the guys that I, I, I practice this stuff a lot with. Mm -hmm. 
okay. He's uh he's giving me a lot of this stuff. <laughs> It's just like, he just was cruel with it. He was just like, me, what it? Oh, oh. <laughs> he is an encyclopedia. <laughs> Big encyclopedia. Yeah, I imagine that being such a fun drill if everyone like had the, knew what all the things went and you just yelled them out and we're just like, oh, bam. That, that is my goal, but not necessarily, even if it's just the ones that we did today and I just yell it out, can you just go? Mm -hmm. uh, make it almost like a game. Um, yeah. It was like, uh, my, I've, had, I've had the idea of like, oh man, like, um, I don't know if you guys have played this as a kid, steal the bacon where you're on like two sides of the room and something's in the middle, you have to go grab it, first person to grab it. Kind of something like that where there's, you know, you're facing your opponent and like the first person to do the technique, something like that. Um, and that'll be some stuff to get into uh, when we can start hitting each other again. I think our first class, like with contact, should just be a dragon circle. <laughs> I think the first class almost needs to be a conditioning class. Everyone can feel like what it's like to get hit again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, you guys. Um, awesome. Um, I'm going to bow you out. Um, if you guys have further questions, you guys know, email me, uh, call me. I'm here at the dojo. Um, and if you guys are going to stay for uh, advanced material today, grab some water and I will be right back. But let's stand up from positions. Now, let's step it out. Two more breaths. One more. Good. Uh, salute. Happy Friday. All right, water break.